Yeah, the very first video, I think, uh, when I was on the walk by the flags, didn't, wouldn't, won't come out, I don't think. I'm now extra pushing the button. Um, I forgot. It's like me with Zoom. Anyway, I'm on the walk still. It's only about 10 minutes away from Alberta and the heritage site. I've been on the go now here for nearly four hours. I got here just after nine o'clock this morning. I spent quite a long time in the centre. We were allowed to video and take photos. I'm now on the, the battle walk. There's a couple of people just in front of me. This is called Ambien Forest or Wood. You can just imagine the wild boar being in there, can't you? Because the boar was this, um, Richard III's emblem. Another plaque coming up. That is the good thing about um, when it's quiet, you can do these videos. Punishment and Rewards, this is called. Station 16. The headman's axe. Oak. What's that? Something. The rat and the something and the cat. <sighs> Having won the battle of. The battle. Henry needed to secure his position as king. Most surviving York leaders were executed or imprisoned, and the lesser folks had their ha lands confiscated. Those that supported Henry were rewarded with titles or estates taken from the Yorkists. For his personal protection, in September 18, 1485, Henry formed the royal bodyguard of the Yeomen of the Guard from the common soldiers of his victorious army. They were commanded by the Earl of Oxford, who had led Henry's forces at battle. They were present at his official coronation at Westminster Abbey in October 1848, um, 1485 and took to the field with the King at the Battle of Stoke in 1487. They were forever fighting. A few bluebells out and wild cow parsley. Right, I'm going to turn off now and um, just take a picture of that plaque. Over and out.